everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre lift market, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Today's video is going to be all about sustainable fashion, as it is a sustainable fashion haul. Like always, whenever I do these, I always like to say sustainability and hauls basically do not exist. They don't coexist well, but I do think that it's nice to share the items that I am buying that come specifically from sustainable brands. I, of course, always shop sustainably or at least 99% of the time shop sustainably because I buy almost everything pre-loved and everything but one item I bought pre-loved but a couple of items are gifted to me. So there are a few items that are new and not pre-loved, I think three, but uh, one of them was purchased by me and two of them were given to me kindly by a day and I have shared those ones with you already in the past. Everything else was bought pre-loved and all of these are from sustainable brands. Because most of them are bought pre-loved, they of course are not all for sale, but I will link the, the brands down below so you can get an idea of the kinds of offerings that the brands have based on the pieces that I've gotten, as well as if they have something similar or they still have that item in stock. I will definitely link those down below. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've picked up quite a few items since the last sustainable haul, which was the first sustainable haul and collection that I did. I have definitely been looking into these brands and trying to fill the gaps in my wardrobe with these types of brands. So I'm going to go through different categories and show you the items that I've gotten in each of those categories. As you know, if you've been following me for a while on my luxury wish list, there were a lot of pants and that is what I believe I have the most of. Then tops, then blazer cardigan kind of things and then I have one dress so I'm going to start with that. This is the dress that I have and I will show you a try on as well. This is from Amore Vert which is probably the brand I have the most from because I've just really been enjoying their pieces and once I discovered them I really wanted to add a lot of things into my collection. So I really like this dress, though I will say that the tie kind of threw me for a loop. I wasn't sure 100% if I liked it, and I was kind of hoping I could tie it around the back, but it just doesn't work. So I don't know if it takes away from the dress to have the tie or if it adds something to it. I'd love to know your thoughts about it. I do think that it definitely makes it a little more unique than a typical little white dress, but I like the eyelet pattern. I like the length of it. I think in general it is a nice dress. The next category is going to be t-shirts and this one's inside out but it looks exactly the same. <laughs> this is also by Amor Vert. I bought these two at the same time. So I have a black and a white crew neck tee and Amor Vert says on their website buy a tee plant a tree. So every time you buy a tee from them which are very affordable then they also plant a tree for each t-shirt sold. So that's really great. I really like these. They're a nice quality they fit really well, they're very slimming. These are both in an extra small, which is pretty much everything I have from Amor Vert I think is in an extra small. Maybe there's a couple things that are a small. And I just find that they are really nice tees. I get a ton of wear out of them. I think all of the remaining shirts besides this one are also from Amor Vert. So, so I'm definitely adding the most of that brand into my collection. This is from A Day and this is the Short Up Top Turtleneck. I have shown this in my video all about A Day and a, my sustainable vlog around New York. And I just absolutely love this. It's made of plants. It's super comfortable. It's just really great. And I just wore it again the other day. And even though it's starting to get a little bit warmer out, this is such a lightweight, beautiful knit that it just was extremely comfortable. It can just do so many different temperatures. So I really love this piece. And when they come out with more colors, I think they have it in this and black right now. I am definitely thinking about adding them. I just don't need another black turtleneck. This Amor Vert tee I showed in my thread up video, thread up haul, so I'm not gonna try this one on. You've already seen it, but I do think that the little knot detail is kind of fun. It's super soft and comfortable. This is an example of something that's a small rather than an extra small. I probably could have done an extra small. I would say size down if you're debating between in just Amor Vert in general, but uh, this is still very comfortable and it works really nicely. It's just a tee that extra sort of relaxed fit. And the last two shirts are both by Amor Vert. They have these silk tops. You can see that they're the same design. They have this little pleat in the back. They're a little longer in the back. These are a very comfortable silk top. You get beautiful silk quality and I just really like them. So these ones are two of the same ones and I'll link it down below, but there are a ton of different colors and patterns that you can get in this style, in these silk tops. So definitely something I would recommend. Okay, next are blazers, cardigans, sort of outerwear. I have two to show you. So the first is this cardigan blazer 
mini dress. It's kind of all three in one. It's by Reformation. It has this nice sort of satin collar. It really needs to be ironed or steamed. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dry cleaned. And then it's this comfortable sort of lightweight black material. And then it has these these buttons. And I think this is called the Wake Man blazer dress. It's from a few years ago. It is super mini. I mean, it just covers my bum. So I would never wear it as a dress personally, but I can understand why some people would. I am going to probably primarily wear this as a cardigan. I prefer my blazers to be a little bit more structured, not always, but most of the time, but it is a slightly more dressed up cardigan. So it could easily transition from work, but um, it also could very easily go super casual. So really like this new piece. Next up is this beautiful, thick, giant cardigan from Amorvert. I really like this one. I can't remember the name of this, and I don't think that it is current, but I believe they have something else in this pattern. Anyway, I'll link down cardigans, and then if I can find something else that is in this fabric and pattern, I will link that down below as well. But I'm a really big fan of this cardigan. It's really chic and warm. It photographs really nicely. It's, it's just kind of a sort of a standout piece, but something that is super versatile. And last up are pants. So the first pair are the pair that I bought new. And I have to tell you, I just adore these. These are from Laissez the Label and they are currently between stocks. So they just finished up their old season and they were selling things at less than it cost them to make them. For a little while they were having a pay what you want sale so i got these for i think half off and i was super excited about them they are made of 15 plastic bottles recycled plastic bottles and they also have coffee beans in them they're incredibly soft and comfortable i just think they're super fun super flattering they're really stretchy they even advertise as they say wear your pajamas to work because they're that comfortable and stretchy and then they have this removable tie so i'm a really big fan of these i like them a lot and they helped me want to buy this other pair which i picked up from thread up i am still hopeful that i'm going to be able to get one of the belts for this i've contacted the company about that um, they're not quite sure to do what to do because I didn't buy them directly from them, but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to order a belt from them for these everyday pants, which again, I showed in the thread up haul. So these ones, I was super excited. I've been looking at them for a long time. So once they had that sale, I knew I had to buy them. I will link them down below, but their next stock isn't coming out until June 1st. So right now there's nothing you can buy on the website, but I know in a couple of weeks, I will definitely be checking out their new collection. So I will link them down below so that you can check them out then as well. The other pair of pants that I bought in that thread up video are these cute plaid ones from People Tree. They're really, really sweet pants. They are in a UK eight and in People Tree, I almost always wear a UK 10, which is equal to like a US six. I'm usually a two to four, but in People Tree, I definitely have to size up. And so these ones are a little difficult to get over my bum. I'm not going to lie, even with the elastic waist, but once I get them on, they're pretty comfortable. I like them a lot. They, they are really good about elastic waist and things. So they work really well with curves and I just really love the plaid look to them. And I really think that they're very comfortable. They almost feel like a flannel. So I only got to wear these once before it got a little bit too warm for them, but I know I'm going to wear them a ton next winter. And the last pair are the other ones that I bought from a day. So I have featured these in other videos before. I believe I did a video about casual workwear and workwear you could wear on the weekend or at work or casual Fridays or whatever you wanted that to be very versatile workwear. And I featured these in there. So these are the a day turn it up pants. They have this elastic portion on the side and then they have the little a back there this really comfortable elastic waist. I just think that these are great kind of casual pants, but they could also very easily work for work and they have this nice pleating. So I was really excited to add these into my collection. And thank you very much to A-Day again for the short up turtleneck and these turn it up pants. I absolutely loved working with them. Do check out that vlog if you haven't already. I will leave that down below. And I just think that these pieces are great. There are pieces from A Day as well as a number of these other brands that I'm gonna be featuring in my affordable, sustainable 
fashion video, which I know so many of you requested and really, really were excited to see. So that is going to be going up next week, I believe, and I will definitely be featuring a couple of these brands, but also a good handful of other brands that either are maybe not in the US, there's a couple I'll feature from the UK, and then there are brands that I do have things from, I just didn't have anything from in this haul. I'd love to know which pieces you like the best, so please let me know down below. I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.